Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make this confetti effect in Roblox Studio. Uh, you, you guys don't have to make yours exactly like this. You can change a few stuff. But yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to make this. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is make a new screen GUI in the starter GUI. Call this confetti, wherever you want. So we have confetti and now make two folders two folders and then we're gonna call this one container and we're gonna call this one sizes okay now in the sizes you want to insert a frame now in the frame what we're gonna be putting in this folder in the sizes is all the confetti that we want so since I've already made this I can show you guys what I'm talking about so if I insert all this these are my colors and my sizes and stuff um, so as you can see, my orange, it's bigger. You know, some things are skinnier, uh, bigger, shorter. Um, this is what I'm talking about. And you want to have a, like a, it's like a rainbow -y type effect, uh, you know, red, green, blue, purple, and all that, so it sticks out. Um, so basically how you guys would do that is set your anchor point to 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. You would then, you know, I'm just going to pick a size like red, size, I meant color like red. Let's say I'm just going to shrink it down to be, I don't really know, maybe something like this. You know, like that. So then what I would say is I need to convert the size to scale because it needs to scale on every device. So size, you'd want to use a plugin uh, offset to scale to do that. And or what you guys could also do is just say 0, 0 and all that and it will go back down to zero pixels and then when you scale it back up it is uh, in scale so do this um, you guys can change your I can't even grab it change your sizes so like I say I'm gonna make this one a blue color blue and I can make this one a little bit longer or maybe I don't really know just switch it up uh, use some colors if you guys want to see the colors that I have here. Well, this is my orange color uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Yeah, this is my orange yellow color blue green uh, purple and red so those are my colors uh, and Put all the confetti pieces inside of sizes and that's it for uh, that part Also guys you want to make sure that you select all these and turn visible off so you do not see them so guys, I'm going to make this confetti system is modular, so you can uh, call it from any script, a local script, and so you can keep calling it over and over again. So what I'm going to do is insert a module script in replicated storage, and I'm going to call this confetti. Okay, now um, this is just a little preference thing, but I am going to change module to confetti. You guys can do that if you want. So confetti. I'm then going to make some variables, alright, and then I'm going to say local player is equal to game, uh, whoops, game.players.local player, just make sure I'm recording, okay, uh, and then, so we got the player, now we need the player GUI, which is player, or, uh, yeah, player GUI is equal to player, not player GUI, this allows us to get, uh, you know, the confetti right here, we're then going to get the confetti GUI, so confetti GUI, player GUI, Wait for child, confetti, and then sizes. You're just getting everything in there, so confetti GUI, uh, wait for child sizes. And then we're gonna say get children here, and then local container. And if you guys are confused of what container is, that is where all the confetti will be when we spawn it. So that's container, containers, confetti GUI, we'll wait for child, container. There we go. Um, I'm going to separate this. So this is going to be services. So local tween, service, game. Uh, you guys can have a separate thing for services too. But this is just my preference. A tween service. We're using tween service. And I'm going to make one for utility. So utils. And I'm going to say local RNG. Is equal to random.new. And then local colors. And so wait, let me, yeah. So the colors will be equal to a new table. 
So the sizes and colors you see in here will not be the same because it'll be random colors. And let me get this copy and paste it for you guys. So you guys want to press enter on these uh, curly brackets and you want to put in these color three dot from RGB values because these are all the colors that uh, we have. Or if you're using other colors, then put all those in here. Uh, you know, put the amount of colors you're using and stuff like that. Uh, so you want to put all your colors in here. If you aren't using this many colors and get rid of it, say I'm just using red and red and red and orange, then I'll just get rid of these. But I'm using all of these colors. OK, so how this is going to work, guys, is I'm going to make a local function called confetti confetti visual. So that is a local function. But in another script, we're going to be calling the function in the module, which is function confetti dot play. Now, the reason for this is so that I can call this local function multiple times. What this is saying is that I can. Um, so when you fire the confetti, it all comes out at once and it's kind of weird. So what I'm going to be doing here is firing it over a small period of time. So it looks like the confetti is gradual, if that makes any sense. But anyways, back in this local script, we want to uh, create a new task.spawn function. Task.spawn function. All right, there you go. Task.spawn. And I'm going to make a for loop. So for i is equal to 175, comma, 1, 2. 75 is the amount of confetti that will be appearing. You can change this if you want, but I have minus 75. I am then going to say local random confetti. So we're going to get a random uh, size out of the confettis. Sizes, square brackets, math. I'm just going to use math at random. One number of sizes. So uh, hashtag sizes. I'm then going to make the new confetti, so new confetti, it's equal to random confetti, clone, new confetti, dot background, oh, whoops, dot background, color three, and that would be equal to colors, uh, oh, colors, square brackets, math.random, one out of the number of colors. All right, and then new confetti, dot position, or not position, rotate, wait, yeah, position, sorry, position equal to unit 2 dot new, RNG, next integer, or no, you want to say next number, sorry, next number, negative 0 0.3, comma 1.3, and I hear you to say, comma, 0, comma, negative 0 0.2, comma, or, yeah, comma 0. That's a random position. New confetti. Dot rotation. We'll be able to math dot random. Actually, you could just use random dot new. Whoops. You could just say new confetti. Dot rotation. It's equal to RNG. Colon next number. 10, 350. That's a random rotation. New confetti. Dot visible. True. And then new confetti uh, parent will be go to the container. There you guys go. We made our new uh, confetti part. So and then we are going to say local confetti fall info is equal to tween info dot new rng next number one comma two point five. I hear we're gonna say comma. And then we're going to say enum.easing style dot linear enum dot easing direction dot out zero comma zero comma false. Alright, and then we're going to make the tween so local confetti tween is equal to tween service creates confetti a new confetti confetti fall info. And then we are making the position. So comma, squarely brackets, position. We go to unit two, dot new, new confetti, dot position. Uh, whoops, position, dot x, dot scale, comma, zero, comma, new confetti, dot 
position dot y dot scale plus 1.3 comma 0 there's our tween we're going to play it so confetti tween colon play and then local completed tween let's go to nil completed tween will be equal to confetti tween dot completed connect function and I'm just gonna wait like I have I have it set to 2.8 so uh, you guys can change that if you want but I'm wait 2.8 seconds and then so it just waits till all the confetti are gone and it's gonna say completed completed tween disconnect wait I don't think I spelled that right yeah disconnect completed tween we go to nil confetti tween destroy new confetti would be go to nil and then uh, I think we're just gonna destroy all these so four underscore comma frame in container get descendants do frame destroy and then down here back to our play um, little section we're gonna say confetti visual uh, you guys can make however however long you want it to be, but this is where it looks like it'll be a gradual effect. So I have this going, f uh, I think it's four times. So two, and I just keep copying and paste this. Or you also could just say four i is equal to one comma four comma one do confetti visual. Uh, Task always your point three five. There you go. That should be good. So then, if we in a local script call this. So for an example, I'm just gonna do when the base plate is clicked on. So I'm gonna uh, make a new click detector. Uh, click detector in the base plate. So then I can detect when it's clicked. So in here, I'm gonna say. Game dot workspace dot base plate dot click detector dot uh, mouse click connect function. But up here I need to get the confetti. Local confetti is equal to require game. Okay, storage wait for child confetti. And here you're gonna say confetti dot play. So this will play when we click on the base plate. So let's play the game. Okay. So let's click the base plate and our confetti falls. And if you wait a few seconds, don't spam it because then it'll kind of break. But if you play it, uh, the confetti falls and it looks all nice. Uh, again, guys, if you want to change the values, you can see I uh, clicked it before I was supposed to, like before it ended. So make sure, guys, uh, that the confetti is done. But obviously, you wouldn't be spamming the confetti in your game. It would happen every once in a while. But uh, yeah. See, there is our confetti. You can add more confetti if you want, or less, however you guys want it. But yeah, there's your confetti. Alright guys, that was today's video. If this video did help you guys, or you did learn something from this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.